How to solve linear equations fast. Math life hack. How do we usually solve linear equations? Let's recall. 17 minus 4x equals negative 9x minus 13. First, we add 9x on both sides. Then, we subtract 17 from both sides. We are left with 5x equals negative 30. To get x by itself, we divide both sides by 5. x equals negative 6. We can actually solve equations much faster by using elements of the transposing method. This method is much faster because it avoids the double writing of terms on both sides of the equation in every step. The double writing of terms looks simple and is easy to understand at the beginning. However, when the terms are long or complicated, this double writing takes too much time. So how does it work? As you know, we need to isolate the variable on one side of the equation and everything else on the other side, so you can solve the equation. You need to know some simple rules for this method. When a term moves to the other side of an equation, a subtraction changes to an addition, and an addition changes to a subtraction. Let's solve the same equation using elements from the transposing method. Our goal is to get the variables on one side of the equation. So we move negative 9x to the left side, but we move it with a positive sign. Next, we carry 17 over the equal sign with the minus sign. We combine the terms and we are left with 5x equals negative 30. Now we divide both sides by 5, like usual. We are left with x equals negative 6. The rule is, when a term moves from one side of an equation to the other side, for example from left to right, the minus sign becomes a plus sign and a plus sign becomes a minus sign. Let's try an example. 6x plus 7 equals 2x minus 9. Our goal is to get x on its own. When we carry 2x over the equal sign, we switch the sign to a minus sign. Next, we carry 7 over the equal sign, and we also switch the sign to a minus sign. Now we combine like terms. Divide both sides by 4. x equals negative 4. Let's try another example. Negative 20 minus 7x equals 11x plus 16. To get the variables on one side, we carry 11x over the equal sign. The plus sign becomes a minus sign. We immediately combine like terms. Minus 7x minus 11x becomes negative 18x. Next, we carry negative 20 over the equal sign with a positive sign. We combine the terms 16 plus 20 equals 36. We are left with negative 18x equals 36. Next, we divide both sides by negative 18. x equals negative 2. Let's try another example. 4x plus 5 equals 26 minus 3x. To get the variables on one side, we move negative 3x over the equal sign. The minus sign becomes a plus sign. We immediately combine like terms. 3x plus 4x equals 7x. Now we move 5 to the other side. The plus sign becomes a minus sign. We combine like terms. 26 minus 5 equals 21. Now we divide both sides by 7. x equals 3. Did you notice how fast this method was compared to the traditional method? You can use this method on exams to shorten your time. Just remember, when you move a term from one side of the equation to another side of the equation, 
for example from left to right or from right to left, the minus sign becomes a plus sign and the plus sign becomes a minus sign. This will help you avoid mistakes. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.